Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be the Dallas Stars season preview. Of course, it was a disappointing season for the Stars last year. They looked to rebound this year and make the playoffs for their fans, still led by the wonderful and great Jamie Benn. Unfortunately, the great Ben Bishop is still expected out, according to Cap Friendly, for about five months. But Blake Como, Yanni Hockenpah, and Jason Robeas, and the great youngster up and coming, is only expected out for three, or excuse me, not three days, day to day. Maybe it is three days. Ty DeLandry, of course, you have um, as a good developing player as well, who you expect to see more games this year. Same with Lesperance, who has experience already. Uh, no pun intended on his name, and then Gardner, who has some experience as well. And then you, of course, have Tomas Harley, who's a very good smooth skater, going to be a very good defenseman in the future for you guys down there in Dallas, plus Alec Petrovic, who has some experience as well down there in the minors, <clears throat> if you were to have your team succumb to injury, excuse me. Plus, you, of course, have, obviously, the very good youngster still, Jake Adi Ottinger, who's developing as well plus having Anton Hadobin and Braden Holpe, which allows Jake Adi Ottinger to just have a very good amount of games. And then if somebody struggles, which would probably be Holpe at this point of his career, unless if he rebounds, then you still have Ottinger. So I think this was a smart move by the Dallas Stars to be able to bring in Braden Holpe because it's a it's not going to be a loose situation for y- y'all in any way, shape, or form. Because if Holpe does well, amazing. And then Hadobin, you kind of know what you're getting from each year. And you might get a year like he goes off sometime and does fantastic like he did in the postseason. Excuse me. So, his team set. They have good young players. They got Harley. They got Johnson, who's, of course, in the uh, OHL. Maverick Bork, who you can watch in the queue. Um, they have Alex Stranges, who's, of course, in with the ta- over the Texas Stars. So, you have some nice young players coming up the pipe. You don't have any of those Elias Pedersen-esque young players, but Jason Robertson's a very good one. And you, of course, have another young one in Jacob Peterson, who is going to be starting playing this season with your Dallas Stars, according to Cat Friendly. So it's going to be interesting to see how the 132nd pick of the 17 draft is going to develop. They brought in a veteran in Luke Glendening, who's been great in every locker room he goes into. Tanner Kiro actually looked good in 39 games last year. Dennis Gurianov, another good young player. Uh, Radik Fosca, an underrated um, 50 or 15-foot, 200-foot player. Joe Pavelski, one of my favorite in all of hockey, still a point-per-game guy, even going on 38 years old. And then Rupe Hintz, or Rupe, uh, which would be the funner way to say it, even though it's Rupe Hintz, um, is 43 points above a points-per-game. Joel Kiviranta, again, another good young player. So you have the leader in Sagan and Jamie Benn there, and the veteran Alex Radulov. Um, who <clears throat> is out day-to-day with an illness, but if he's able to go in the first game that, of course, kicks off tomorrow for your Dallas Stars, then that will be good for this team, obviously, as well. But in terms of the season, he'll be good. He'll be churning. He's a good veteran still to have, even though he ain't the same player he used to be. Sagan's still going to be a good player as long as he can stay healthy. Jamie Benn is Jamie Benn. Joe Pavelski still at points per game, like I said. Michael Roffel's a great 200-foot guy to bring in and a great veteran, like he was here in Philadelphia, to be able to mentor your guys, especially your young guys, to be able to bring them into the league and bring them along like the Ty De- 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 Delantrias, excuse me, um, and the other guys that have been up already, like experience, maybe to get him ingrained in the league, more Gardner to just kind of get them to be look more fluent in the league and like they can kind of stay up here in the NHL other than the Ty Delandrias, who we already know is probably going to be a pretty solid player when it's all said and done in the NHL. So I think this team <clears throat> is a good team that's coming together. A lot of projections have you all fourth in the division. I think you all are considered a bubble team this year, in my opinion as well, because again, this goaltending here, obviously if you have Ben Bishop and Ben Bishop was Ben Bishop, that's completely different. Anton Hudobin's a very good goalie. I really like Anton Hudobin. He's hilarious. He's a mastermind, hilarious, funny person. But he has been all he can be for you. He's not getting any younger. Braden Holpe isn't the same Braden Holpe. So if you can have a bounce back from Braden Holpe, then that would be huge. Obviously, Sakara and Hanley is the biggest question mark defensive line, not because of Sakara, more because of Hanley, who was good in 35 games. Can he continue to be one of those just good late-blooming defensemen? 
Miro Heiskanen and Liddell, you know what you're getting from the same with Klimberg and same with Sutter, which was a very wise and very good pickup, which is why this team is a bubble team because they made good pickups. They just have a lot of youngsters mixed in here that are going to have to really get their games to the next level and keep progressing in order for this team mixed in with Joe Provelski, the Radulovs, the Benz and Segans of the world to have their best success. You're going to need it from Peterson a little bit. You're going to need it from Kiro a little bit. You're obviously going to need success from Gurionov, and you're going to need a jump from Kiviranta. He's 25 years old, so this is the season you're going to be looking for that jump from him in order to be in that playoff spot rather than projected as the team right outside of the playoffs, showing that you're a bubble team coming into the season, which is where exactly I would have the Dallas Stars heading into this season, right on the outside looking in as a bubble team, that if everything goes right, definitely could move up at least one spot to be that third-place team in the division to go to the postseason. So I hope you all enjoyed this Dallas Stars season's preview. It's going to be a fun season watching Kiviranta again, watching Peterson up, and of course watching the Dennis Guriano of the world continue to just grow and get better and become one of the more dynamic, better offensive players in the game, and watching Ryan Sutter integrate himself to that team. Plus, hopefully, I don't want to see Brayden Holby continue to struggle. That's just a big question mark. Hopefully, he can start having some success again, and then you have no question there with Hudobin and Holby. You definitely have a great chance to be a playoff team. So, peace out, everybody. Stay safe down there in Dallas. Have a good season. Good luck to you, Dallas Stars fans. Again, please subscribe down below or a cop on the Easy Widget if you enjoy the content, and enjoy the rest of the NHL season.